It is finally here. This is the workout you have been waiting for. The workout you didn't even know you needed. This workout is going to help you build a strong and solid upper body plus abs so that you only need to make one trip when you're carrying in your car load of groceries. Okay, isn't that the goal? We don't wanna make two trips when we have all those groceries. It's a one and done type of thing. This workout is also gonna help you tone and shape your muscles as well as just help you with those everyday life tasks. And with that, this is a no repeat workout, which means we get one shot, the time flies by in these workouts, and it is tough. So the only thing you'll need today will be your heavy dumbbells. Again, only one time through each exercise, so make sure you're giving it everything lifting heavy for each set. Second is my exercise box. Now, if you have a sturdy chair, you can use that, or just a sturdy elevated surface. That will be perfect, but if you don't have that handy and nearby, I will give you modifications throughout this workout as well, so you don't have to do, have a box or a chair. But with that, let's get into our warm up and we will get this workout started. We're gonna start with arm circles back, so just taking one arm back and then the other, alternating sides here. Can you tell I am so excited that you are here for this workout? I am not joking about carrying in all the groceries at once, like for real, that is, that's one of my things. Two more and now we're gonna reach up towards the sky here. We're gonna pull down and then we're gonna close. Open back up, reach up nice and tall, pull down, close and open. Let's work this through this a few more times here and close. We're also going to use our dumbbells, very light dumbbells through this warm up today, just to start activating those muscles, getting them ready for lifting heavy and working one time through. Last one and pull wrist circles here and then we're gonna do some um, forearm stretches and then we'll grab a very light set of weight. I'm just gonna use my five pounds. We're gonna work through a few of the exercises again just to get the blood flowing in those muscles so we can lift heavy right away. Gently pulling back here on your fingertips, stretching through the forearms. I love this stretch, it feels so good. You don't even notice sometimes that your forearms need a good stretch until you start to warm up. But just gently pulling so you feel that nice stretch. All right, and let's go ahead and grab our dumbbells. Grab, again, just grab something very light. And if you don't have something super light, you can just do this without dumbbells as well. We're gonna start with a bicep curl into a shoulder press. So just taking it up nice and slow and then press. And down, good. As always, keeping that good form throughout our warm up. Two more and then we're gonna go into standing chest fly. Last one. Good, standing chest flies now just lift and lower. Three more, and then we're gonna do bent over rows. Two, and one, good. So hinging it at the hips, drive those hips back, slight bend in the knees, down with the dumbbells, pull and squeeze. So really think about warming those back muscles up as you squeeze here. So for this workout today, we are gonna hit everything in the upper body. We've got the biceps, the triceps, the shoulders, the chest, and the back, plus of course the abs, we'll work the obliques in there as well. So this is really an, an all around hitting it all workout today for that upper body. Two more, here's two. And last one, awesome. So let's go ahead and get our dumbbells. These first few exercises are really gonna target the back. So remember, lift heavy. I'm gonna have you pull in your box every once in a while just because I don't wanna stay seated the whole time for these exercises so we can keep moving around. So just have your box nearby, grab your dumbbells. We're gonna do a rotating row first and let's do this. Shoulders roll down and back here as you hinge at the hips. We're gonna rotate in three, two, and one. So take your time. We're in that neutral grip and then we rotate into that reverse grip row. Squeezing shoulder blades around spine. So I'll give you a little bit of heads up before we need the box. So you can just easily grab that in between our rest sessions. So 60 seconds of work. We've got a nice recovery in between of 30 seconds. Exhale as you lift and squeeze. So for the next two exercises, you will need your box. 
So we're gonna work a right row and then a left row. And remember, go heavy as you're lifting today. Here we are, three, two, and one. Nice, one dumbbell now for a right row and then we'll switch it over, grab your box as well. Now, if you don't have your box, you'll see that modification on screen for this exercise. All right, hinging it over, back flat, core engaged, and let's row. Keep that arm close. Good, really think about squeezing that shoulder blade around your spine. Good, next exercise. Again, we're just gonna switch it over to that other side. Ooh. Come on, think strong here. As it gets tough, remember your goal, remember what you're working for, remember those groceries in the back seat, and let's go for it. Here's three, two, and one. Nice, just switching it over to the other side. Again, that modification is simply gonna be just the same. Just the other side. Whew. All right, let's bring it down, let's get ready. Going here in three, two, and one. So the way this workout is structured, and you'll see this as we as we continue on, but you will see a lot of the, the back exercises are all clumped into one, and they'll have the biceps all together. So you will see these muscles are gonna feel it by the end. We're gonna get rid of the box, and we're gonna take it onto the ground next. Couple more reps here though. So stay focused, really get that pull. Here it is, three, two, and a one. All right, working alternating pullover. This is a tough one. Grab your dumbbells for this. Box is moving out of the way. Rolling it onto our back. So again, one side and then the other. Going in three, two, and one. This is one of my favorite compound exercises. Oh my goodness, because not only are we working the lats, but we got a little chest work, we got some core work, you can feel the triceps. Good. Take your time. Really think about pulling back up. Exhale as you pull. And this alternating move here challenges your balance a little bit more. Good. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. Chest press is next. So grab your dumbbells for chest press. Remember to go heavy. Also, we're gonna do chest flies coming up too. So if you wanna grab dumbbells for chest fly, actually, I'm gonna leave these down here because I'm gonna use that. So chest press. We're working cardio in between, <laughs> running back and forth. Ooh, going in three, here's two, and let's press. Think about those chest muscles. Think about squeezing right here as you get to the top. 
and exhale. Remember to keep your wrist straight on this one. So think about punching the ceiling. Now, and you'll also no notice with the structure of this work that we're working opposing muscle group. So we've got the chest, then we're working that opposing muscle group, or we work the opposing muscle group, the back, then we'll do the same with the biceps and triceps, and then we'll have shoulders kind of smack dab in the middle. Almost there. Good. Three, two, and last one. Oh, that was a long countdown. <laughs> chest flies next. So grab your dumbbells for chest fly, and let's get ready to get into that. All right, arms up, chest fly here in three, two, and a one. One little tip I have to kind of help you just be aware of the progression you're making throughout your training. And also it's very helpful um, to just look back and see maybe if you ever get stuck on a plateau, what maybe you need to change. So if you, after your workouts, or even during them, just quickly jot down the weight you're using for the exercises. In the description, I always share the workout with you as far as what exercises we have coming up. So you can always copy those down, then just quickly write down the weight you're using. Like for my chest flies, I used to only be able to do 10 pounds, but I've been able to up that recently and keep that consistent. So if you have that, it's your motivation and it also helps you just progress along in your training. All right, here's three, two, Last one, good, all right. Now, we are going to need the box. We're gonna do incline push-ups. Again, if you don't have that box, you are just gonna do those regular push-ups. Oh, but getting the box here. Oh, breathing, okay. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep the legs tight. Keep the glutes tight in that core. Exhale as you push up. This incline position works the chest muscles just a little bit differently. Good, over halfway. We're gonna need the box again. But we're gonna start moving on to shoulders after this. So I, I'm sure you can see the chest is starting to get pretty shaky. Oh, almost there. Here's three, two, and one. All right, grab your box. Again, no box, you're just gonna do this standing Arnold press, but we're gonna do a seated Arnold press. Okay, three seconds, here's two, and let's press. So even working seated challenges you a little bit more. Well, not a little bit more than standing. They all have their own challenges, but we're just challenging ourselves in a different way as opposed to a standing Arnold press. So again, we gotta mix it up so we can keep getting stronger, keep progressing. Okay, we got it. And we're gonna take a break from the box for this next exercise. The reason I, we're not just doing exercise ex after exercise with the box is because I wanna make sure you're getting up, moving around in between sets, just to keep your body moving. Almost there. Okay. Three, two, one. Yes. I, um, I was having visions there, carrying in all the groceries on that last set. I was like, I need some motivation right now. Uh, we're switching it up to snow angels now. I am dropping it to 10 for this one. Palms are gonna be out. Those arms are gonna come out wide here. Three, two, and one. 
lift it up and down, good. Make sure those hips are under, you've got a slight bend in your knee. You've made it halfway. Keep going here. It's getting tough. We got it though. Keep it up. Oof. Don't forget to breathe. This one I feel like I always forget to breathe on. I don't really know why. Almost there. We're gonna need the box next. So make sure you've got that box nearby. Here we are. Three, two, and a one. Good. Now we're gonna do a seated rear delt fly. So this is a small muscle group here, part of that shoulder complex. We're gonna be hinged over at the hips and we're gonna do that rear delt fly. I'm gonna keep my 10 pounds on this one because this one, this one challenges me. So bring it down, grab your dumbbells going in three, two, and one. Here we go. The seated option, the seated variation is my favorite for the rear delt fly work. I just feel like it really allows me to focus just on that muscle and really work it good. So if we ever do standing rear delt flies and you ever wanna mix it up and do the seated, definitely consider doing that. So we don't always have our box out every time, but always remember this is your workout and you make it count. Breathing. Biceps are gonna be next. And we won't need the box here. Last one, here's three, two, one. Nice. Next, we're gonna do drag curl. So that means we're gonna keep those dumbbells close and we're gonna curl, dragging those weights up. Let me get the box out of here. Whew. All right. Going in three, two, one. I am telling, I might just, I don't know what I'm gonna do with my hair. It, every time I start to get a little sweaty, it just sticks right to me. Too much information, TMI, but listen, I do that sometimes. <laughs> so down, and the thing about dragging those dumbbells back, keeping those elbows nice and close. Don't let those elbows flare as you pull up. Good. You'll feel this a little bit in the back as well. Almost there. Here's three. Two, and one, good. Wide hammer curls next. So, if you need to dry off or grab a drink, good time to do it. Breathing. All right, so wide hammer curls. Palms are gonna be away from you here. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, curl up. those arms in nice and tight. Listen, I'll tell you. So many good things right now. As it's getting tough, remember, so many good things are coming from a strong upper body. It is going to make life so much easier. Again, we got groceries. We're gonna be able to carry those in. We are gonna be able to majestically carry in a sleeping child as well. So just remember all those good things. Like, we got it. Here's three, two, 
one, good. Whew. All right, now we're going on to the box. So we're gonna do a seated concentration curl, just one dumbbell, we're gonna work right and then left. So down here, that elbow is right above the knee, going in three, two, and one. And we curl. Let that arm hang all the way down, keeping pressure here on the inside of your leg as you curl. We're just gonna switch sides next. So you can see, we just have one muscle group left to work after this, and it's gonna be triceps. And then we finish out with that abs bonus. Here it is, three, two, one. Switch it up, so other side, other leg comes forward. 10 seconds. Breathing, five seconds out here. Going in three, two, and one. So same thing, arm comes all the way down. Exhale as you curl up. Make sure you're thinking about pushing back as well on that arm so you don't wanna just let your leg fly open. You wanna keep that pressure, keep it solid. Give your arms some leverage there to curl up, just bending at that elbow. I never look back. And was crushed. We're gonna use the box for the next exercise. We've got tricep dips next. Again, modification will be on screen for you. If you don't have a box, you'll just be doing it on the ground. It's a good one. I'm actually glad we're starting with that one and not finishing with that one. Almost through this one here. Curl up. Good, here it is. Three, two, one. Tricep dips. Breathing, and then this is actually gonna be the last of our box for today, so we'll be able to get it out of the way after this. So, the harder it will be if your legs are straight, easier legs are bent. Going here in three, Two, and a one. Keep that back close to the box as well. So you don't wanna be way out here trying to dip. So everything stays nice and tight here. Elbows going to, that, to the back of the room. Not out wide. Pushing through the heels of your hands on this one. So really think about pushing up good, getting those arms all the way straight. Here we are, three, two, one. Tricep overhead extension. Next, box is out of the way. All right, getting one or two dumbbells for this one. Bring it up, three seconds out. Here's two and one. Up extensions all the way down, press all the way up. Oh my goodness, halfway. Come on, you've got it. The arms are screaming. <sighs> Cannot wait to finish out with abs. I'm gonna tell you that. Oh my God. It's gonna feel so good. 
Okay, just shake it out for a second. Keep on rocking. If you're lifting, keep on going. One more tricep exercise. Three, two, one. Tricep kickback. Final upper body exercise before we hit abs. So grab your dumbbells. 10 seconds out. Ooh, hinge it over here at the hips, going in three. Here's two and one. Let's kick it back. Those arms nice and close. Extend all the way out. Try to hold it for just a second at the top. Don't just swing the arms. Make sure you are in control here of your weights. If you ever start to lose control with the weights, just go down a bit and that'll help. Oh. 20 seconds. And then we're just gonna be on the ground. No dumbbells. Here it is, three, two, one. No dumbbells, meet me on the mat. We're working abs. Time's gonna be a little different. 30 on, 10 off. We're gonna start holding dead bug, so knees at 90. We're just going to alternate the arms. Going in three, two, and one. So 30 seconds, just the arms, leading back with that thumb. Keep that low back pressed into the mat. That's what I want you to think about, keeping that low back pressed into the mat. This time is gonna go by so quick after working for one minute, but only 10 seconds here. Here's three, two, and one. Woo. Breathing here, we're gonna hold it for 10, and then we're gonna go in two, dead bug with just legs. Here we go in three, two, and one, just the alternating leg lower now. With that, keep that low back pressed into the mat. Breathing. Almost there, here's three, two, and one. 10 seconds to rest, then we're gonna go dead bug, alternating arm, alternating leg. Going in three, two, and a one. Alternating arm, alternating leg. Keep low back pressed in. Next is gonna be side plank with a hip drop. Almost there. Good, here's three, two, and one. Side plank with a hip drop. Up we go, and drop it down. Oh, we need a rest for 10 seconds. What am I doing? <laughs> okay, bring it up, here we go. I told you I was excited to have you today. Now I'm just rushing through the abs because I'm like, oh, I love it. Down and squeeze. We're just gonna switch sides. Getting ready to switch it up here in three, two, last one. Switch it over 10 seconds. Whew. All right, bring it up in three, two, and one. Here we go. And squeeze. Next, we're gonna roll it onto our back for heel tap. 
good. Here we are. Three, two, one. Woo. On your back, heel tap. Five seconds out, going in three. Here's two and one. Let's tap. Get those shoulder blades up off of the mat, reaching here. Almost there, and then we're gonna do reverse crunch. Good, here it is, three, two, one. Reverse crunch is next. Five seconds, good, here's three, two, and one. Reverse crunch, get those hips up. Keep that low back pressed into the mat. If you're doing that heel tap, if you find your low back is starting to arch, just don't lower those legs quite as low. We've got one exercise next. That's gonna be crunch pulses. Good, here it is. Three, two, one. 10 seconds out, we'll do crunch pulses. Here we go in three, two, and one, pulse it out. Hands can be reaching towards the sky or right behind your head. Good, keep it up. Here we are, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. You can tuck the legs in, sit it on up. You are amazing. If you are ready for your one trip grocery shopping, at what? Carrying them in? Let me know in the comments by saying one trip because I'm gonna be leaving my comment. I love you so much. Do not forget to get a stretch after this. Thank you for joining me. You are getting stronger because you are here. I love you. Have an awesome one.